Hi, my name is Daryl Labar, and in this video, I want to talk about user-defined type cards. It's a real cool feature in TypeScript that I just found out about, and want to show an example of why you'd use it, and what it really buys you. So in this case, I have this function here where I'm accepting in this UI element interface. My problem is, I only want to execute the actual meat of this function if this UI element is actually a control. So my quick little type check here is, hey, if the element passed in has a get control type method on it, um, then I'm going to go ahead and cast it to control, and then call this method get control type. So if we look at the interface for get control, or control, it actually extends the UI element. It has this get control type that returns back one of these values. So what's wrong with this? Not necessarily anything, except that uh, I've got to perform this cast here, and this check here I've got to redu reduplicate everywhere. If this happens to be a, a difficult check to figure out which interface this actually is, uh, but it becomes rather, rather wet, not dry. So enter in user-defined type cards. So here I define my method is user control. And here's the actual module where it says this is TypeScript knows this is a type card, where that attribute, that method, that parameter, is this particular type. So I'm going to check to see, given this type, is it that particular subtype or subinstance? Um, so I'm just going through and casting so I could uh, check for all these different very, very, uh, all these different methods. And for this example, I've gone through and, and just uh, looked for every single method that this interface extends onto that one. Uh, but you can change this to whatever you want if you're checking for a particular value, a particular property, or whatever you happen to be. It just has to return a true or false. So that's that quick check. And now this code can be changed to something like this. Okay. So I'm calling my type check here. And at this point, Anything past this point, TypeScript knows that that element is not a UI element. It knows it's actually a control. So I can actually call my my method down here, get control type, and see if it's equal to my iframe. And I can remove all of that code. And I can replace my control and change the element to be uh, the control to be the element as long as I have it in it else. It's not smart enough to know, oh, this is just to return out of here, but as long as I have that else statement there, it's smart enough to know, oh, this is actually this control. So I can even change this to a single if statement. Hey, if it's this control and it's that iframe, then go ahead and do this stuff. And, re and remove my extra else. So that's just kind of a simple way of how using that type, that user-defined type guard, uh, A, sign or consolidates all your logic in a single function for determining what interface is of that particular interface, but it also then types that for that if statement block, or that method block, um, depending on the if statement. So uh, it, it's a um, really cool, powerful feature for TypeScript that really uh, makes things a lot cleaner and simpler. So, love it. Use it.